Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tackle Cave. Today we'll be talking about how to service and disassemble an Easter Boga. The Easter Boga is actually a pretty expensive fish lip grip. It's very good quality. It's gonna it will last your lifetime if you don't lose it. I think there are not many videos out there on how to disassemble one and how to service one. So I'm just gonna do one today. I'm gonna be using the 15 pound Boga as a reference. And I'm not gonna use the 30 pound today. I'm just gonna leave it here. The first thing you'll need to know is that when you buy an Insta Boga, it will come in a box like this. Inside the box, you will have the instruction manual for it. You also get a little pin in there. So this pin. So it's a good idea to keep this box with your instruction manual inside and the pin inside. Don't lose this pin, it's pretty hard to replace if you're looking for a new one. Okay, so to begin, you'll need the Insta Boga itself, the pin and the hammer. There's four pins holding this lip grip together. There are no screws, no threads like that. So you only need these two items to disassemble one. The first thing you do is actually take the pin. And if you notice on the pin, there's a blunt side and a sharp side. So these actually have different purposes. So for the purpose right now, we're going to disassemble. We can actually use both. So if I'm going to hammer something, I'm going to use the sharp side to get it out. First thing we need to do, see this pin over here? Let's pin over here. We need to align this um, this other pin on it. We need to remove that pin. So it's a bit tight, so I'm gonna use a hammer. See, it actually punches the other pin out like that. So from here, I can just pull it out it down, get my pin, pull this off, this piece off which has the lanyard on it and I can slide the grip off slowly, sometimes it's a bit tight, so that one goes over there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to disassemble these other two pins over here before we can get inside. Punch it out, see again. I'm using the blunt side over here for the hammer and the sharp side to punch out the pins. So just give it a push, comes out like that. Don't lose these pins, they're not easy to replace. So the next thing is, I'm going to punch out this black, this pin on this black piece over here. Slide that back off, like that. It won't come off because there's an o-ring over here. I can use this part to push this part out and I get this, I can see this little black piece inside here. So there's another pin in there, it just dropped out. There's another pin inside here. What this is for is actually what holds the jaws together. For the next part, be really careful because there are two springs inside that tend to fly out very easily. So just be very aware of that. Pull out the jaws as such slowly pull out this black plastic piece. You can see there's actually a spring on this side and a spring on the other side. So put your fingers like that and pull it out so it doesn't fly away. Oops, and then it flew out there. Make sure it doesn't fly out. Okay, you see it wants to fly out by itself. Next thing, pull off this part of the body and you get to the main body. So this actually, there's a little washer thing here. I think it's made of rubber. Push that off, put it in the corner. And you get your spring assembly. So this is actually the main body of the boga. Um, you don't really need to grease it or anything like that. If you want, just put a very really light coating of oil or something. But if there's any sand and stuff inside, give it a good clean, you know, make sure there's no grit inside so the operation's quite smooth. Clean out everything else you need to. Um, oil it, don't grease it because the grease might affect the operation if the sand and stuff gets inside. Make sure your springs are clean, you don't need grease for this as I said before. Assembly looks like that. So there's that shaft over here and there's two metal washers. So how do we assemble this back? Washers go back down, spring assembly goes back in. Slides back in. Don't worry about it too much yet, it will just move by itself a lot like that. Kind of annoying a bit sometimes. Next thing is I'm gonna 
really carefully hold my assembly again with the black plastic. So if you notice, there's actually a hole over here and another hole over here. So these two actually line up together. I'm just going to really carefully slide this back in so the springs don't fly away. Okay, once it's back in here, you can really just push it like that. So that's about it for this part. You can put that in here to hold it for a little while. Just be really careful when you push this back in since you don't want the springs to fly out. So once it's back in, slide this piece back on. Make sure this plastic thing is inside so the springs again don't fly out, very importantly. Assemble your jaws back inside. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly, so because it tends to trick you on the alignment of the jaw, so just try a few times, you, you'll need a little while to figure it out. Give it a little push from the back if you need, don't push it too hard. And you'll see that the jaws won't line up until I put that little pin inside. So I can take this piece here as a guide, push it inside, make sure they're all straight. Take the smallest pin of all. I can oil this if I need to, but this boga is pretty clean, so I don't really need to do this do so. Just follow that pin goes back in, push it back down. So now, the jaws actually work like that. They're all working in sync. Next thing I want to do, is I want to fix this black piece back. So I'm going to slide, okay. So this black piece, the hole actually lines up with the top over here. So the, this hole again, lines up with this part over here, which is the top of the boga. Just going to slowly put this back inside. Okay, since there are springs inside, on this part, we need to assemble it with the sharp side. Just make sure you don't damage the springs, just, you know, slowly slot it inside. Okay, so now it's true like that, see? It gives me the spring action. I'm just going to take one of these pins right here, which is a slightly longer one. My pin's already true here, so that's a guide for me. Makes it a lot easier, especially when there are springs inside. Just follow back, like that. and it's reattached. Next thing we're gonna do is for this part. It's for this one here, which is kind of the medium one, not the short one, not the long one. Again, since you're working with a few moving components, you're gonna take the sharp side again, push it in, make sure it's, everything's aligned inside. Put this pin back using the rod as a guide. If it's a bit tight to go in and your rod's inside, you can just give it a little tap with the hammer, but don't overdo it too much. Just tap it a bit. Next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna put that gasket back inside for the back. Make sure it's tight. You can push it back in, take this, pull it up, and push it down like that. I'm gonna fit back the handle to the body of the boga. Sometimes it's tight because there's an O-ring over there. Okay. This is the tricky part because there's actually a hole on this, this piece. So there are two holes on this piece and another two holes on the spring assembly and another two holes on the lanyard end. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to line up all of these six holes together. So use the sharp end again, slowly figure it out. Make sure it's all aligned with each other. Can be a bit tricky sometimes. But yeah, okay. So once it's aligned like that, that means they're all going to be fitted together. From the sharp side, push back your pin. And we have reassembled our boga. Like that. Works okay, still. Still operates okay like that for the scale. And yeah, that's actually how you service and disassemble and reassemble an Istaboga. Another thing I would like to tell you guys is that, you know, a lot of my friends and stuff when we go fishing, we all carry bogas. So they actually all look the same with this black lanyard and bead. So actually I'll tell you guys to get something like a little identifying bead like this. I actually got this off AliExpress, it's a titanium bead. So when we go out fishing together and we all bring bogas, they don't get, you know, mismatched or misplaced because you want to keep this one for a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something today, especially on how to disassemble the Easter Boga. Um, if you've got any questions for me, any comments, any suggestions, please put it in the comments below. 
and please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks